Hi everyone. Um, I forgot to show you the altar after my little live thing with the plants. I think I got so carried away listening to the music. Um, I just went to another dimension, I think. Anyway, I'm just going to very quickly show you how I'm going to set up a small summer solstice altar here in my space here today. I've got a beautiful yantra with the circle of life on made by a uh, glorious Esther from Moon Kestrel's Nest. And I'm just going to pop a few little bits and pieces and things which I'm gonna keep here in my room um, over the next few days, just to help me tune in uh, to the solstice energies and things. So I'm gonna start off with a beautiful uh, little um, crystal heart, which is part of my chakra set actually. Um, which for me really tunes into the solar plexus. And these are petals from the sunflowers. I didn't want to destroy the sunflower. It didn't seem right to, um, to break it apart. So the one that I was going to choose, these are all little petals that were all furling and ready to be picked. What I do find when I'm working with nature, it's a real reminder about there is beauty in everything and everything doesn't need to be perfect. So if you notice some of these petals, they're not, they're not all totally perfect in theory. There's little marks and things on, but actually they are perfect because they're imperfect. There's perfection in the imperfection. So I think yellow crystals are really important. So I've got some calcite here, which I'm going to pop. Gosh, they're quite huge, aren't they? Might pop them in here. This is what I find when I'm doing my grids and doing my work, is that you have a plan of what you think it ought to be like. And then actually when it comes down to it, it's not... Um, I love rose quartz and so I feel that solstice for me is all about bringing joy and happiness and that's so close to love and I think for this from this moment on if we can all bring love to everything we do with love it's going to help us get through all this stuff. I'm just going to slightly change and get some slightly smaller ones. I find that the crystals will always tell me whether they want to come on or not. I was just setting up this grid just now and I've chosen some different crystals and managed to knock them all over the floor and in fact I can't find all of them so I could have taken that as a message that it's not right for them to come at the moment. So we've got some lovely orange calcite, rose quartz, there. Um, and I'm going to, these are flowers, beautiful roses. From my garden I love the fact that actually they're yellow and pink they're really really fragrant in fact I'm going to pop them in those bits I find it's really calming to do these mandalas it takes you to a place that's really important and I've forgotten a massively important thing which is to put my plant music on what's that little this rose here is all ready to sing us a tune. I had this all ready before everything decided to fall down just a minute ago. So I'm going to carry on making this mandala, um, this grid, um, just listening to some plant music. So if you haven't seen it before, this is my music of the plants little thing. And uh, 
little gadget and it's um, this music is being played by this yellow rose that's here as a sensor that's attached to the top flowers. Roses for me, so much love and happiness. And when you're making these, it doesn't have to be complicated. Just use what you've got. You don't have to go out and get new things. Nature will provide things for you. And if you're a bit like me, you like to collect things and collect things in little jars and then you will find then there's going to be a right place for those. So it doesn't need to be expensive either. These are all roses that are growing in my garden as they started to grow over, particularly just before it started to rain, I brought them in and dried them. How beautiful they are. And I think we need some crystals to anchor the energy to clear quartz is such a healer and so it's amplifying all of our intentions here around the grid Just going to pop some yellow rose petals in the gap here. Do you like this little rose? I think she does. So they've actually come off this rose, which again I've dried. And these are the petals that have fallen. And there we have it. Let me move this up here for you. My solstice grid. Got a yellow candle here. Bringing in the sunshine energy. So my heartfelt blessings to you at this time. Lots of love. turned off yet because I'm just listening to the music. I think she's stopped now. Thank you everyone.